Hi, I'm Rob from Longhead Music and today I'm selling this Sound City Compact Bass Amp. It's an SC30B um, and it's 30 watts uh, solid state uh, practice bass amp. Now this bass amp is fairly simple, it's only got a few controls on the front here. It's got a gain control um, to set the input gain for the bass guitar. It's got a treble control and a bass control so that you can control the, the bass controls the boomy woo -woo -woo woofy sounds and, and the treble controls the clicky high frequency sounds and you can turn those up and down and it has a volume uh, to control the volume. It also has two different inputs. If I just bring the camera over here, um, it's got a high impedance input and a low impedance input. And it's, to normal people, if you plug, if you swap the bass from one to the other, it'll be like there's a volume difference between the two. But uh, high and low actually means high impedance and low impedance. And it's for different types of instrument, whether you've got an active bass guitar that's got a battery in it or whether you've got a passive bass guitar. Um, but uh, they are, do give a slightly different sound, so you know you can you can use whichever one sounds best with your bass guitar. Now, I've, as I've said in the listing, the pots are a little bit crackly, and by pots I mean these these knobs here. Um, of course, it's not doing it now. <laughs> now I'm on camera, which is a good thing. Oh, it's a little bit of a crackle from that one. I have worked them this morning. I've tried to turn them backwards and forwards to uh, to stop the crackle where I can. But as you hear, it seems to be working pretty well um, as it is uh, at present. Um, so it's it's uh, 240 volts with a UK mains plug on it. Um, uh, now I'm going to plug in a bass guitar and show you what all the controls do and uh, give you a quick quick demo of what you can do on the bass amp. Now I'm using this microphone um, in my iPhone to pick up the sound of the bass amp, so I apologise if the sound is terrible, uh, but at least you'll get a better idea of what it does and what all the controls do. So I'm just going to put this down in front of the bass amp. So I'll turn the volume up a little bit. And this is with pretty much all the controls on a medium setting. As you can tell, I'm not really a bassist. <laughs> Okay, um, so this is what the, if I turn the treble all the way down, you can see it goes quite muffled. If I turn it all the way up, you can hear it goes quite abrasive and in your face and bright. The bass is low frequency, turn that all the way up. room shaking there, turn it all the way down and it goes really thin. If I turn the volume down and the gain up, I should be able to get some sort of distortion. Can you hear that distortion? That's clipping the signal there. Now what I can do is uh, turn the gain down and the volume up. And you get quite a quite a, a, a lot of cleaner sound with no distortion at all. So there's quite a quite a lot of different uh, different options uh, on the bass amp there. That's the socket in my bass guitar, not the amp. Right, so I'll turn it off. Obviously for this item, collection in person is preferred uh, for various reasons. Um, 
because it's 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 not that heavy, you know. I mean, it's it's quite incredibly light for a bass amp. Bass amps normally weigh a ton, um, but it's just going to be a lot easier for me not to have to wrap it in cardboard. So I'd love it if someone local could pick it up. However, I am willing to ship for a price. The buyer will have to pay the uh, the cost of shipping, um, but. Uh, it's a fairly nice bass amp. It's been used in a clean, smoke-free studio for um, since I've had it. It's obviously quite an old one. It's nineteen eighties one, classic. So um, since I've had it, it's been in a clean, smoke-free recording studio. Uh, but now I just don't have the space for it, so I'm going to have to get rid of it. And uh, anyway, best of luck with the auction, um, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to send this to you and get it in the post and we'll try our best I'll discuss it with you on the phone if it's a Christmas present for somebody um, I'll, tr I'll make sure it gets shipped as soon as possible and uh, there are various courier options such as 24 hour couriers uh, which we may want to use uh, to ensure that it gets to you in time okay um, I'm Rob Harrison thank you very much for watching best of luck with the auction